Hey everybody, welcome to the sixth video in the series on how to use Pixlr E. This video is going to be all about how to use the Lasso Select tool, which will seem very familiar to the last video, which was all about the Marquee Select tool, but we're going to look at how the Lasso Select tool is a little bit different. Let's start the same way by clicking on Create New to make a new canvas. I'm just going to go Web Medium and keep all this the same and hit Create. So now I have a nice blank uh, transparent uh, canvas, and I'm going to bring in an image layer by clicking on the plus over here and clicking image. And I still have the Apple image saved from the last video. So I'm going to click on that and bring it in as an image layer. And I'll just resize it a bit so that we can see what we're selecting here. Okay, so I have my image here and I'm going to, I have this layer active as well. And now I'm going to go to my lasso select tool right here. This is going to seem very familiar or similar to the Marquee Select tool that we talked about last video. It does pretty much the same thing, except it lets you customize the shape of the area you're selecting. With the Marquee Select, you are limited to rectangle and ellipse. Now, that, that can be really nice if you're trying to select something that has a straight edge. It's really nice. The rectangle gives you a perfectly straight edge. But if you're selecting something that's irregular or you want a custom area that you're selecting, the lasso basically lets you draw freehand and it gives you a couple of other options as well. So if I have it selected on free up here and I click and hold my mouse, I can draw whatever I want to. Maybe I want to, for some reason, have an irregular shape cut out of my apple like this. This is like sort of an S and I let go. Now I'm. you can see I get the dancing ants or the uh, actively selected area here and I can delete that area or whatever I wanted to do to that area. Um, let me undo that actually, and I'm going to deselect that area as well. Um, let's look at some of these other options. This polygon lets you do uh, straight lines, so you can click your mouse, and when you let go, it's going to give you a line. And you can draw your line wherever you want to and click, and now it's going to give you a new line. And you can click, and a new line, and click, and a new line, and click. So you can use these straight lines and string your straight lines together to outline whatever it is you want to outline. The nice thing is, again, just like with the rectangle, you're getting a perfectly straight line. Once you get back to the beginning where you started, it'll give you your dancing ants again, and you have your polygon that you cut out or you selected. Let me deselect that again. Um, the Bezier, I think I'm saying that right, is a really interesting one to play around with. Basically, it gives you the ability to make curved lines, but it makes the curve for you. So you click in one spot and let go, and it gives you a straight line just like the polygon did. So for example, if I wanted to go like down, uh, like maybe here, um, but then when you move it the next time, you can actually pull that line out. So you can try and follow the curve of something. Maybe I wanted to get the curve of the apple. And then you can start with a new line and you can get sort of curved things happening, which is sort of cool. When you get back to the beginning of where you were at, um, it'll give you your dancing ants, and then you can control that. So that is sort of like a polygon, but with curved lines. This, I'm going to deselect again. This last one is really cool, magnetic. It's sort of a smart uh, feature. Let's say I wanted to cut the leaf out of this apple. I can go to magnetic here, and I can click and hold my mouse down, and it's going to detect where a strong edge is, and it's going to follow that edge. Even if I don't get it exactly right, it's going to snap my line to that edge. And it, sometimes it actually will get off, and so you, you might have to... Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let me deselect for a second. Uh, you know, even though it's smart, you, it, it might take a little bit of practice to get it just how you want it. Okay, so then I clicked and now I get my dancing ants and now I could delete my leaf. So that this, uh, the mag uh, magnetic one is really cool. Just like with the other one, you can add to or take away from your selection. So I can add to selection. Let's say I missed a little part of the leaf here. I can go in and add to it. And now it included that part of the leaf. And let's say, hey, I didn't want to include this little white rectangle. I can also take away from my selection. And now that is not included 
in my selection. So these are the same as with the marquee select. You can also choose the size of your selector, um, feather we talked about in the last video. So um, again, it makes it really easy to select just the parts of your picture that you want to select with the lasso selector tool. I'd encourage you just to, again, uh, play around and see if you can set yourself a challenge of selecting just a certain piece of a picture. Enjoy.